thank you so much for being with us this morning. Um, what a great turnout. Um, why don't you all uh, make your way up? There's a little bit of shade over here. Um, I know you guys have the sun in your eyes, and I've been looking forward to dedicating the first home on the side of this tree for a number of months after being the one that has to stand with their eyes in the sun for the last six months of the, the 13 homes on that side of the road. But thank you all so much for being with us this morning. My name is Mike Sutton. I have the privilege of serving as the CEO for Habitat for Humanity. And on behalf of our organization, thank you for being here today. This is the 712th home that Habitat for Humanity has completed in our community. Um, and we couldn't do that without the love and support of so many people. Um, and so it really does take a community coming together to make the Habitat mission work. So um, today though, is all about the McCammon family. And what's so great about uh, being here today is that Sherry's actually the third um, the third person in her family to mm -hmm. actually receive the keys to a habitat home. So her, uh, one of her sisters bought a habitat home from us in Clearwater, um, probably about seven know, years seven ago. Seven years ago. Um, and then uh, her other sister, Danielle, bought a home from us in Dunedin, probably about five, four. Four. Okay, I got one. <laughs> four years ago. And, um, and so uh, what, what a great opportunity now for you and for your kids um, here in Pinellas Park. So we are in the city of Pinellas Park who has been a phenomenal partner to Habitat for Humanity. We purchased the seven and a half acres uh, about three or four years ago um, and have partnered with, uh, with the city to build out this community. Where we are standing used to just be uh, trees and brush. Um, and uh, about a year ago, actually Thanksgiving of last year, we completed this street and now um, you can see um, at the end of the day, we will have 75 homes in this in this community completed by Habitat. And so, really proud of the work that, that our organization has been able to do here. We want to thank the City of Pinellas Park for the continued support of, of the Habitat mission and making uh, dreams like this come uh, to fruition for families um, like Sherry and, and the McCammon family. So, let me introduce um, another amazing partner of ours is the county. Um, and Pinellas County uh, continues to support affordable housing and, uh, and support the Habitat mission. And we have uh, uh, Pinellas County Commissioner Pat Gerard with us today. Pat, why don't you come on up and say a few words and welcome the family. sure they're delighted now. Um, so I just wanted to say welcome home. I have a gift for you here. Look at there. Um, there's a folder there with all my information, all the county's information. Please give me a call if you have any questions okay. about the county. And uh, thank you, Mike. We love working with Habitat. Thank you, Pat. Uh, the county provided some of the financing to make this happen, um, and uh, and that, that that zero interest loan that the county provided us to purchase some of this property um, has obviously gone a long way. And now Habitat repays that by giving the homeowner a zero interest loan. So, uh, so Sherry's completed. How many hours have you done? Uh, Six hundred and eighty. Six hundred and eighty sweat equity hours. <laughs> Her requirement was 350, so she far exceeded that. Good job. Um, so she far exceeded that. Uh, and she's also completed over 20 home buyer education classes. And those classes are really designed to help her uh, become more self-sufficient and to ensure uh, that um, this is a successful next step in the journey of life. So we're really proud of her. Uh, to symbolize that, what we're going to do is present her with this hammer. And so at every Habitat home dedication, we provide a hammer to the homeowner. Um, and the hammer is symbolic of all the hours that they've put in. It's also symbolic of the volunteer component of owning uh, a home. We have hundreds of volunteers that come out and work on a Habitat home. Uh, and they, they do everything from helping us to lay the, 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 the sod and, and put in the plants to painting, uh, putting in baseboards, cabinets, countertops, all kinds of stuff, windows. Um, they're good. 
Um, so, um, we'd like to present this hammer to you. Um, we know you won't have to use it anytime soon, but uh, it's symbolic of all the work that you've done. And we also have a Bible. And at every Habitat Home Dedication, we pass this around and ask folks if they would like to put a message in the Bible. Um, and we know that this will serve as the foundation for which you establish your new home here. All of Live's answers can be found between these, the covers of this book, and we know that uh, you'll keep this in safety. So, there you go. Um, let me also introduce uh, Corporal Lawson. He is here representing the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, and he is going to bring greetings on behalf of Sheriff Bob Beltier, So. Good afternoon, and thank you for allowing us to share this moment with you. So on behalf of Sheriff Bob Galtieri and all of the men and women of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, we say welcome home. Here's a little something for you all. And you've already got your first line of defense there with the hammer. Uh, so, <laughs> this is my business card. Um, I, I was assigned to the community policing unit. And although you're in a wonderful city of Pinellas Park, we are going to help lead the way. I have Corporal Lawson's card in my, my car, and I just keep it next to my door in case I get pulled over. Um, <laughs> let me introduce Brian Metzger. Brian is here representing the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce and their program, Kids Pedal Power. Brian? Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Mike said, my name is Brian Metzger with uh, the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber and uh, Kids Pedal Power. Um, our foundation was created. There's a lot of people behind us uh, raising money uh, to do things like this. But what we what we had our goal in mind when uh, we had, uh, generated this incredible relationship with Habitat and Mike was for kids to hit uh, the neighborhood, being able to travel around, meet the, their neighbors, and, and the best way to do that is for kids to have a bike. So with a ton of uh, people involved and uh, hard work and dedication from the Kids Pedal Power and the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber, we would like to uh, dedicate and give you guys all bikes. You're very welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> gifts. So awesome. When I moved into my home, I got a tax bill. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. <laughs> All right. So um, in order to get to a day like today, it takes the volunteer component of building a home. It takes a willing homeowner partner. Um, it takes uh, the community coming together and wrapping their hands around the Habitat program. It takes a willing municipality uh, here in the city of Pinellas Park. It also takes the financial resources to make a Habitat home come together. And the um, we have a, a big annual event every year, um, and this year, this past year, uh, we held the event um, at the Vinoy, and we raised the funds to build seven Habitat homes through the amazing generosity of our community. Um, and, and our annual event is presented, uh, for the last four or five years now, it's been presented by Crown Automotive. Um, and we have Matt Godry here, and Matt kind of splits time between Crown Automotive and Mid-Atlantic Finance, uh, and he's also a Habitat board member. Um, and he's here to bring greetings on behalf of all those sponsors and to present you with your keys. So Matt, come on up. Good morning. Good morning. Normally, uh, Jim Myers does the key presentation. Jim is so eloquent. Uh, Jim wasn't able to make it today, so they dipped way down in the list and uh, pulled me on. So. I'm going to cheat a little because I have some notes here that have some specific numbers and some quotes. I want to make sure I get them right. And because you have children, I wanted to make this educational. Right? <laughs> so while Jim will talk about keys and he says nice things, I'm going to, I'm going to be educational. Uh, you know, every once in a while I'll think about something that I get interested in and I start digging into the internet and I read a lot, try to educate myself. I think I turn into my dad just about every day. Um, the first key, the first key was invented in the 6th century BC, just so you know. Uh, so keys have been around for, what, a little over 2,600 years. Um, Fort Knox, everybody knows what Fort Knox is. The uh, codes on the, on the locks at Fort Knox, they change every day. So if you think about your passwords that you have on your computer, <laughs> and how hard they are to remember. Imagine if you worked at Fort Knox and had to remember a different code every single day to get in. 
I love this one, uh, Viking Women uh, were the keepers of the keys. Um, and it was a status symbol, and they would actually attach the keys to their clothing. Um, my take on it was that that probably became out of necessity. Uh, the Viking men are out pillaging and plundering. They come home, they lost the key in battle, fell off the side of the ship. Um, the women were tired of them losing the key. Uh, there's a vault that once guarded the U.S. Treasury. This is why I have the, the phone here. So it's supposed to be a manipulation proof. Um, it is estimated that it would take 2,042 years to crack the code. It has 1,073,741,824 possible combinations. So if you stuck somebody in front of that lock, 2,042 years to figure it out. Um, there's Benjamin Franklin, there's a famous key, right? Attached it to the kite, flew the kite. Contrary to popular belief, it was not hit by lightning, he would have died. Um, but he did prove that the, the air was charged um, by flying that kite. You have Francis Scott Key, wrote the Star Spangled Banner in 1814. 35-year-old um, attorney um, who wrote the poem and uh, apparently had something better to do than uh, chase ambulances. A um, couple quotes here. This is from Shakespeare. Where beauty under 20 locks kept fast, yet love breaks through and picks them all at last. Think about that one. And a really good German proverb, I like this one. Locks and keys are not made for honest fingers. So hold that one over as the day goes by. But, right. <laughs> but the most important key is the key to this home, right? and it's transformational, and it will allow you to create the history that you want to create. And out of all those keys that I mentioned, this is the most important one to you, right? So congratulations, and by the way, 680 sweat equity hours, I mean, think about your day and how busy you are, and then add on to that all that extra work that's involved um, to be able to you know, obtain the homeowner Thank you, Matt. I uh, that was heavy for a Friday morning, man. Uh, that's, but but got us really thinking. So thank you for uh, sharing all that, and we appreciate the continued support from Crown. You want to say a few words? Thank you everybody for being here. Um, I want to especially thank um, Mike, Deb, um, Jack, Ken, everybody from Habitat that helped me along the way um, doing this. Um, the patience that they had with me and learning that I was not Terry. <laughs> um, we're going to be forever grateful um, for this home. Um, they're going to have room to grow in a good neighborhood, people to play with. So. Thank everybody. We appreciate it. Awesome. Congratulations. You have worked hard. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I can say that, uh, you know, although you're not Terry, your sister, Terry worked hard, Danielle worked hard, and so I think that's a testament to mom and dad and the work that they've done to, to raise you all. And in turn, you've set an amazing example for your children that if you work hard, um, that you can accomplish anything in life. So we know that this is just the start of a new chapter for all of you. We know you're also very excited to get in and check out the house. Right, kids? All right. So what we're going to do now in, in true Habitat fashion is we're going to say a blessing over the home. And so we're going to invite everyone to come up and find a place to lay your hand somewhere on the house. And we have Kermit Dunn here to lead us in a blessing. And, uh, and, and at the conclusion of that blessing, we're going to uh, have the family open the keys for the, first, for the first time and enter their home. So, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, thank you uh, for letting me be here today. And I uh, want to uh, congratulate Sherry. I can't think of a more deserving person with the hours that she's put in, the dedication that she's made to her and her family. I work in the Guardian program a lot. Kylie and 
family, and I can't think of, again, a more deserving family uh, that uh, deserves it so much. Uh, let's just bow our heads for a moment, if you would, please. Almighty Father in heaven, we humbly come before you uh, today and uh, have come at this time to give thanks for this opportunity today to be just a part of this great home and a great day in the life of Sherry and her family. Lord, this is a day to be thankful for, not only for the process and the events that are led up to this day, but those who have sacrificed their time, their hard work, and their efforts uh, for this wonderful occasion coming to uh, conclusion today. Uh, Lord, we know nothing happens without your knowledge and without your hands being a part of this day and a wonderful event. We place this home in your hands today as it really is your home. We thank you for putting the right people in the right place at the right time, as only you can do. Today, I ask for your blessing on this home. May it be a place of comfort, shelter, refuge, and security for this family. Uh, I pray for this family and the children be blessed with many memories to cherish as they grow older. We pray that this family be a great steward of this home and know that it is your home. Father, we also ask that you bless their future in this home and lead them daily. We pray that this family, their hopes and dreams be shielded by your protection. We're so excited for the future of this home and I pray for your continued blessings throughout the years ahead. Father, just please give them peace to know that your companionship and blessing is still here in the midst of some challenging and uncertain times. Bless this home, O oh Lord, and make it safe by night and day and keep the troubles away. May the spirit and peace of God flow through this home and uphold the joy of God in this family. And let us remember that you are the source of all blessings. We give you the praise, honor, and glory for this great day. And we ask these things in your most gracious and holy name. Amen.